This is wonderfully eloquent, positive research. And by the word eloquent, I should actually use the word cool. Not scientific, but however though, it is just nice positive research into simple methodologies that can help alleviate serious, serious diseases such as depression and anxiety. Let me just begin with the end of the closing statement just to get an idea how I feel about it. It is as follows. The big hope for this kind of research is that we won't need to bother with complex drugs and side effects. When we can just play with the microbiome, it would be magical. That's the researcher's word, not mine just to change your diet, to change the bacteria you take, and fix your health and your mood. With that, let's go right into the public citation title as follows. I'm gonna speak kind of fast because there's a lot of ground to cover, so my apologies. It's as follows. Probiotic found in yogurt can reverse depression symptoms. And before we go much further, the other part which I think is kind of cool, which is this guy is now my favorite researcher, is yes, that is a picture of Batman hanging it on the wall. But to proceed forward, the researchers originally wanted to look in what can help uh, MS patients with depressions or symptoms of depression that they can take that wouldn't interfere with certain uh, other ailments or medications. And so they want to research the microbiome. And this, with that in mind, this is what they began to do. They wanted to see if chronic stress altered that gut microbiome. And now to quote the research as follows, and you will discover that is a yes. Depression is one of the most common mental health conditions in the United States with up to 7% of pure people experiencing a major depressive episode. It's a huge problem and the treatments are not very good because they come with huge side effects. So the role of the gut microbiome, the good bacteria that resides in you and on you, the bacteria that live inside us has been of tremendous interest to researchers studying depression and other health conditions, both mental and physical. So they set out to see, it's kind of like a story, if he, if he or they could find a concrete link between depression and gut health. When you're stressed, you increase your chance of being depressed. Sounds obvious. And that's been known for a long time. So to reiterate, the question that they want to ask is, does the microbiome participate in depression? Let's go right into study parameters. Again, to reiterate, that is yes. You'll understand why in a second more as we go through the study parameters. Citation title for the researchers. Microbiota alteration is associated with development of stress-induced despair behavior funding National Institute of Health and the National Multiple Sclerosis Society, as we stated before. Study participants were animal models. Study length around seven to eight weeks, with the last four weeks being the administration of the lactobacillus. Methods, stress very similar to city living. You'll understand why. One to two hours restraint, loud white noise, crowded housing, strobe lights, cage tilting, repeated cage changes, wet bedding, and dark or uh, deprivation. Dosage of materials. This is important so you get an idea of how much they actually gave the mice. Lactobacillus supplementation experiments. The El Ruderary was obtained, blah, 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 and cultured aerobically according to the manufacturer's instructions. The fresh El Ruderary was 2 billion calorie for, calorie, colony forming units per mouse per day with water. So it was oral, nothing weird like injections or whatever it is, it's just something added to the food. Results as follows. Looking at the composition of the gut microbiome before and after mice were subjected to stress, the researchers team found that the major change was the loss of lactobacillus. With the loss of lactobacillus came the onset of depression symptoms. Feeding the mice lactobacillus with their food returned them to almost normal. In regard, at the same time they're having the same stressors, they began to feel themselves, regardless of the environmental uh, world closing in on them. A single strain of lactobacillus, in particular L. ruteri, the one they studied here, they found was able to influence mood in a positive way. Highlights. These results demonstrate that chronic stress disturbs the microbiota homeostasis, and particularly by decreasing lactobacillus levels. The longer you're stressed, the more your microbiome gets messed up. Interestingly, this is kind of interesting too, when mice came into the study that already had low lactobacillus levels, they were already exhibiting stress before they actually became stressed in reality by the stimuli that the researchers were applying. So low lactobacillus levels were already indicating stress in the animals without anything on the outside actually being there to cause the stress. All right, that was the research parameters as follows. Let's go into further notes. Altogether, our results indicate that the microbiome can play a causative role, causative, not casual, causative role in development 
and symptomology of depression. Lactobacillus, a probiotic found in yogurt, they found it can reverse these symptoms and anxiety, at least in mice. The research identified the biological process responsible for the effect of mood. Based on this, they believe their findings should hold true in people. Again, this is still hypothetical until they actually carry out a human trial, but they believe it still should be the same. The researchers were able to induce depression symptoms in mice and then alleviate those symptoms simply by, simply by feeding them lactobacillus. And the discovery could open the door to new strategies for treating depression, one of the most common psychiatric conditions in the United States, blah, 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 we already know, and anxiety. And to conclude with the final statement, which I opened with, the big hope for this kind of research is that we won't need to bother with complex drugs and side effects when we can just play with the microbiome. It would be magical just to change your diet, to change the bacteria take, and fix your health. l ruteri given to animals which have been under chronic mild stress for long periods of time, brought them almost back to the normal state, even with the same stressors in their environment. Again, this is Ralph Trick Channel signing off. Simple, eloquent, and really cool. I hope you find this information of use. And as always, look forward to seeing you all in seven days. And I apologize for going a little long, but there's a lot of territory to cover. Catch you in a bit. See you then. Bye.